Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're doing a general for the week. Um, past, present, present, future energy for cardinal signs, Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or any of the placements you would like to follow at this time, okay? Uh, this will just be for the week. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, from what I can already tell, it might be a few situations. So, all right, let's get into it. Your first overall energy you have from the moonology is third quarter moon. Adjustments are required. Let me actually adjust the hats. Okay. You also have, you're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. All right. So whatever it is, it's like, you don't need to stop what you're doing. It's just, there might be a minor adjustment that's needed at this time. Okay. From the tea leaf, you have bird perched, waiting for news, package, letter. There may be more to this story that's coming down the pipeline. All right. Kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead. Bear, danger, especially in money matters. Okay, so this is definitely something tangible, perhaps involving an investment of some kind. You have vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. There's a lot of these. Boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. And success, all right? So you're going to have success in this, whatever it is. You also have a lot of animals here. So animal synchronicities and signs may be important at this time. So far we have birds, kangaroo, bear, and vulture. So take that how it resonates, all right? From the stargazing oracle, the first one out you have is Aries. Fierce, assertive, selfish, rebellious, daring, competitive, speed, leader, pioneer, stubborn, impulsive, and warrior. This could just be for Aries, okay? But you could be dealing with an Aries or the energy on the card. And really what I'm kind of seeing the most here, what I'm feeling the most is like impulsive or competitive, right? Like maybe there's something that uh, you're working towards, but um, it's more impulsive energy than patient energy, right? Then you have full moon, blessing, blossoming, celebration, release what no longer is serving you, recharge your energy, inner work, let go of the past, and manifestation. And this feels a lot like manifestation energy to me, um, just in general, right? Like, so whatever you're working towards may have some blessings and blossoming going on. It may also expose what needs to be removed or what's not working in a situation, right? Could be something from the past may require a little inner work right but definitely you're going to have success so there's some celebration to this your guides are helping you all is well so still maintain that faith right and you have pluto transformation renewal destruction rebirth death cycles black magic struggle power taboo taboos taboos <laughs> obsession all right um i mostly got struggle off of that card along with transformation okay um could very well be rebirth and death kind of energy as well maybe something needs to end something small i'm not feeling like it's a big adjustment so maybe there's some sort of struggle like running out of ideas as to where to go with a project or a thing that you're working on right but you're on the right path whatever this is is definitely going to manifest tangibly for you but you could invest in correctly right with this bear here maybe there's some worry because you know certain paths hadn't been as successful as others and you may be feeling like is this really for me but really it's something you really want so and i definitely see that with these next cards with the black moon astrology here you have mercury retrograde reinvention so that could be where your um adjustments <laughs> may be required to change okay it's just kind of reinvention, reinventing like the path or the little aspects of the path for whatever this is for you. I'm definitely sensing this could be work related. It could be a project you're working on um, with fire energy like Aries. You know, I'm definitely sensing like it could be a creative thing too, a new idea even that maybe just getting started. Um, hmm. All right, let's keep going. 
you have number 14, Taurus, I have. So you could be involving a Taurus in this situation or just what something that you currently have at this time. 14 does break down to a five. So there may be some sort of ch you know change or transition, some adjustment that um, will actually benefit the greater good in this situation as well. You have number 37, fire element. 37 is 10. Tens are ending, so something needs to end. Um, desire, so this definitely has something to do with something you have and that you've wanted, right? And then again with your Pluto energy, right? Transformation, 11, and manifestation with that 11 there. Okay, yeah, I knew I was picking up manifestation off the full moon. From Izzy's deck, we have lucky number seven. So you're on the right track with this idea. It may be that it's just some aspect of it that needs a little tweaking, right? Ooh, fire. Okay. <laughs> Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. You also have time unknown here. I'm going to stick that over here. And that gives me a sense of like, there's still, um, like anything is possible at this point, right? Like it could also indicate a little bit of delays or maybe just a, a pause, maybe a, a time to reflect on what could need some tweaking, right? You also have little black book. Maybe there's a lot of little parts to it. A lot of people, a lot of options tried. You also have Taurus again. So it could be very well dealing with a Taurus or something significant in your Taurus placement. Could have something to do with your Venus placement, you know, your relationships with others. This may be um, a collaborative kind of thing that's just not working out, maybe because you might be working with the wrong people, possibly, or there's just a handful of people that aren't working out, right? Like, so you're making those kinds of adjustments too. And secrets, okay. Let's spirit finish on that. From Kipper, you have child. And I really picked up that this is something new, right? Like a new start, a new beginning. 18 breaks down to nine. Uh, could very well in, you know, include children, but I'm feeling more it's the, the newness of whatever this is, like a new idea that just got begun, right? Then you have toil and labor, your working energy, 38 and 11 again. Um, something that's been worked at really hard, this new thing. And... Um, it seems like there's some hiccups or whatever adjustments need to be required here. Um, you're going to get some sort of news or some kind of communication of what's next or what the issue may be, right? Um, and there's really nothing to worry about, okay? Um, but it may be a little anxiety-inducing because it's like the unknown. You just don't know what it is, right? And like where, where to invest your time and your energy in this situation. And that became very clear with the message of concern over here, okay? I don't think we'll need to, actually, I'm going to go ahead and roll these as well. Um, so there's definitely some kind of concern with a message coming through. Like maybe there's just a worry like you're not going to get something, right? Uh, maybe you applied for a job and you're going to get turned down and you're worried about that. You know, so just thinking about like maybe you're looking for work right now and you're putting all your feelers out, throwing all your nets out in a variety of ways and nothing's kind of catching, right? So you might be feeling like you're at the end of your rope, um, but it could just be a matter of timing, right? Or maybe there's some little aspect of your resume that needs tweaking, right? That's not really capturing um, the job that you want. And that's just an example, okay? So this could be, you know, not having the right tools to create your canvas if you're painting, you know, you know something like that. Maybe you're not working with the right medium or um, the right color palette or, you know, you know, you're having a hard time getting through some sort of creative block or something, right? All right. Um, we'll get into it though, but I also did want to roll and see what other zodiacs are included in the situation spirit for a cardinal sign. All right. You have Sagittarius. I don't know where to put it. Maybe there. Can you see it? Kind of. <laughs> Aries again. Okay. Leo and Gemini, okay? So maybe that might give you an indication of where in your planetaries that might be or your houses, okay? As well as who you might be dealing with, okay? That might give a little clue as to so you can identify this is your story. I know it's very um, vague, <laughs> but I do get the sense that there's something that had some new idea that had been invested in 
and maybe there's a bit of like hiccups or a struggle with it, right? Um, or it's hard to kind of get through um, certain, maybe there's little mini blockages or something, and that's where the, you know, adjustments are required for you, okay? But it seems like this idea is absolutely solid and will do well, okay? It's just you got to fine-tune whatever it is, okay? So to clarify further, um, from Bluebird, we had number 12. And I realized you probably can't see that. This is the Seven of Pentacles, so definitely some sort of long-term investing, okay? As well as you have the birds with the communication here. The bird perched is definitely right here. Um, woes will be brief when the birds disappear, okay? So it's really nothing to worry about, okay? And then you have page of wands. That's fast communication, fast messaging. Could also be child, okay? <laughs> Cancer Leo Virgo is here as well. Um, it may seem strifey at the birch rod, with the birch rod being here, but you do have the number 11. I'm really feeling it's more the page of wands and the number of 11 that's really applicable to this, okay, as well as the identifier. So perhaps there might be some argument with certain individuals in this situation, and that could be where the struggle is, right? So take it how it resonates. Then two popped up. <laughs> First one is... Nine of Cups, something that you really, really want and wish for and hope for, right? Something you love, 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 love. Also, Piscean energy here. Number one is New Beginnings, and the Cavalier is all about that communication coming in, that news, that good, and it's good news. Maybe it might um, enlighten you as to what the hiccup is, right? You also have the Nine of Swords here with that anxiety energy, fear energy. Okay, so there might be a little bit of worry involved in this situation, maybe because it's just unknown, right? 35 does break down to an eight. That's an abundant number, okay? <laughs> the anchor sign of a stable event, and maybe that's what this, um, this recipe needs, is a stable event, right? Bast in sunshine, so the light will be um, brought on. It'll be happy with this contentness here. So it's not really some distance because it's not a spread, but there is a little bit of hope, and I do see that with the Nine of Swords here as well. You know, hope fading, you know. Might be behaving too slow. Maybe the timing is feeling kind of like, oh, is this really working? It's like chugga, chugga, chugga. So let's see what else Spirit has to say regarding this. Wow. All right. Accessible. So something that's accessible to you. Sport might be involved. Some sort of competition. We did see that with Aries. Uh, threaten could maybe feel like um, there's some danger in money matters or that depression worry, right? Maybe it feels unsettled, right? You might need to plan ahead a bit for whatever it is. Fire came up, Aries Leo Sag, confirmation of that. Whatever it is you desire, okay? Cable, there might be some need, some tie. I'm feeling like that might be a tie. Maybe lane and cut tells me maybe there might be some cord cutting needed at this time, right? Like releasing what no longer serves in this situation. So cable, I'm kind of feeling like that's an energy cord of some sort. Maybe it could be found in this little black book. Maybe there's one, um, there's a couple energies or smaller energies, minimal energies that just you can like cut out and that could be your adjustment, right? Weird and slower. So it's gonna feel uncomfortable And maybe the energy will move pretty slowly. Like it will be so slow that it's like barely noticeable. So you're going to have to be really um, in tune, <laughs> aware of what's going on, all right? Then you have Genesis. That could be an identifier for somebody. This could be uh, a religious pursuit. Um, that could be the band as an identifier. <laughs> so however that means for you in this situation, all right? And then you have caress. So I'm definitely sensing some, ooh, and we have another one. Sensing like self-care, you know, kind of like caress yourself through this process. Be patient with yourself. The name Kevin came up and secret. Uh-oh, secret again. Okay. So that might give an indication as to this. All right. Spirit, can you tell us a little bit more about what's going on here? What's need to, needed to know at this time? Perhaps um, what adjustments are required? Let's get into that. All right. Let's get three 
Hang on, I have the Gypsy Witch, please. Let's make sure I don't lose the order. Okay. What do we got here? First card out, you have the Seven of Wands. Okay, so there might be a little bit of defensiveness, perhaps putting your guard up a little bit. Uh, does feel like you're going to be victorious, though. So number 20, the lilies forecast a happy life, but family sorrow. So maybe family might be getting in the way, okay? Um, but we'll see if there's clouds nearby first before we say yes to that. Could either go virtuous or immoral. That might be, maybe there's some sort of moral implication with whatever this is that needs to be um, adjusted, okay? Number four, oh, sorry, number four, <laughs> the four of cups. There could have been whatever this was, was creating that stagnancy. And I do see that here. Phone, your phone might give you an, um, an indication of what is going to go further here. 17 again, breaks down to eight. All right. Um, riches through stocks, but if distant foretells failure and disasters. You got Pisces again with that fish. So it's definitely some kind of investment, right? The fish is the emblem of riches through stocks. And maybe it's something that had been invested that didn't work out too well. I'm thinking immediately of like Wall Street. <laughs> a bad investment, right? <laughs> and losing your money. Taking a gamble on something, right? All right. So maybe adjusting um, where you're investing, right? And maybe knowing it a little bit better because it definitely seems like there's a little bit of ambivalence going on to actually knowing what you're investing in, right? And it could be this family member, right? Maybe you had relied on some sort of capital from this person and they uh, didn't invest well, okay? You also have the Ten of Wands here, which is like, you know, just carrying a lot of extra, you know, a lot of burdens and extra things to do. Um, and that could be an indication of this is something that needs to be released. Okay. Maybe uh, sickness. There's no clouds, so that's, that's all right. So maybe it's not so much your family sorrow, right? Like it just, it's something that's creating some dissonance. You know what I mean? Um, and mental stress. I'm definitely seeing the mental stress with these two cards here. Okay. So that could be your sickness. And maybe that's the secret that's going to be kind of exposed a little bit. But all is well, so trust the process here. Don't worry so much. I'm definitely getting a sense that you need to sort of be, um, continue doing what you love. You're on the right path, right? But at the same time, just be very observant of what's going on. Because there's some nuances that are going to come to light. That's the word nuances <laughs> all right so let's get you some um let's get you some guidance i'm going to go ahead i do need to take a note as to the timestamp. i'm going to put that in the description uh, not the description box eh, i'll do it in the description box too but i'll put it in the title this time see if there's room for that okay get you some guidance on how you should proceed what you should do at this time okay all right let's get you some guidance on my notepad <laughs> took notes Everything from here on, sir, homework. So maybe there's some homework to do. All right. Let's start out with the lessons. Maybe they might give you a little clue as to what could be worked on at this time or be aware of, okay? Try something a little different with the guidance here, so bear with. One, please. Okay, we got two. So first card out, you have guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Okay. And doubt could be definitely one of those. You're just feeling guilty that you maybe you might have made the wrong decision in something. Okay. Um, let me just grab the cards that I think will be useful at the moment. Oh, yeah, there we go. Give me a second here, guys. I need a better... 
placement for these decks. Okay. The second one out, you have purpose. I know what I am here to do. All right. It sounds like it because you're on the right path. Okay. Maybe just the worries and the unknowns and the fears and anxiety might be a bit of an issue right now. Okay. And this could be the energy around you as well. Just being aware of that, right? I get the feeling spirit's going to give you little things to keep you busy while you wait. <laughs> Is that homework? <laughs> All right. Like spiritual busy work, you know. All right, let's see what we got for the animal spirit guides for you. That might clue in, right? Another animal, too. You have the weasel. Be silent. Pay attention and simply observe with your eyes, ears, and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you. I definitely got that sense. Let's do one more, Spirit. More animals. <laughs> and you have cardinal. Another bird, right? The polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of bounds. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. So if you're very tangible right now and dealing with very much 3D stuff, you might want to do more spiritually stuff, right? Like more self-care practices, more things to align your chakras and so on and so forth. That gives me a clue as to what other decks we go to next. So in that case, let's do that first. Give me a few chakra cards, spirit. What could be worked on? bring things back into balance and of course if you're you know more in hermit mode right now doing the spiritual thing you know maybe do more tangible stuff that's fun this deck will kind of highlight some of those things let's get five okay all right and one more all right, definitely seems like more spiritual is needed. A little bit more. Okay, first one out, you have number 23, truth. This is your throat chakra, okay? So knowing your truth, you'll know what to do, right? You know what to do. Number three, earth star chakra, connecting with Gaia for sure and nurturing. You'll be nurturing your relationships, nurturing your connection with Gaia. Crown chakra, number 29, breaks down to an 11. We also have five with truth again, too. Spiritual awakening, so this is just part of the process. All right. Maybe you're going to become more aware of what you can do, spiritually speaking. You also have number 34, breaks down to a seven, universal light. And knowing where you can put your light in a situation, right? Transmuting some of that anxiety and fear. 35, breaks down to an eight. An eight. Soul healing. All right. So that's where you could probably focus on. I'm definitely getting a sense, too, that maybe more meditative or spiritual practices, whatever works for you, okay, um, would be good at this time. And you might actually get some of those messages, you know, intuitively, you know. So more than likely you would. You'll get a, a hint, hint, nudge, nudge of what might be coming through in the tangible, right? All right. Let's see how your masculine energy is doing. And you're feminine. I kind of want to get like two each since there's more than one of you. Spirit. Definitely getting a sense. Oh, we got three. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. First one out, you have Anubis protection. This does talk about people actually passing and knowing that grief is, and suffering is normal in this process, but also that they're protected souls, right? Um, but this could also talk about a situation ending, right? Or needing to end, okay? But just know it's going to be fine, all right? I like that it came up. Again, with fear, with Apuk. Ironically, in the upright, he is the light side. <laughs> so this is just shining light on your fears and understanding where it's illusory, right? That's all it is with, with him. So working on anything that, and maybe even facing fears too, just transmuting that energy. Then you have Garuda travel. Just know that you're protected while traveling. This could literally be go on a trip, even a short-term one, right? Um, 
but also just being mindful of where you go too. And again, you do have that be silent, pay attention. Maybe it's while you're around on your travels during this week, wherever you're going, it could just be local right now. If you can't actually, you know, take a vacation somewhere or an overnight somewhere, right? Or you might actually be traveling. There may be some sort of message all around you too, to pay attention to. I get that with this card as well. Especially since Vishnu there is like pointing, right? Like <laughs> there's something over there, buddy. All right, let's get a few from our ancestor spirit oracle. Oh, we got to get, to get the ladies. Let's get the ladies. The deck's right here. All right, ladies. Feminine energy. Let's see how that's doing. And since we got three boys, let's get three girls. Right. Okay. First one out, you have Aina, inner strength. So just exercising your solar plexus a little bit, taking your power back, being courageous and confident. Okay, actually, let's stick them over here. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Next one up you have is Kuan Yin, compassion. So being loving with yourself and others at this time, just being patient, right? And Oya, expression, so using your voice might be significant at this time for you, okay? Again, with that throat chakra, it may have a lot to do with your truths being expressed, okay? Maybe doing more writing projects, too, or speaking projects, or singing projects, you know, whatever that may be. That could also be indicative of whatever is surrounding this project that you're working on as well. Some form of communication, right? And bringing the light into the situation. Positive manifestation by vo vocal. I've seen that as well. Just got a lot of yellow and red there. So there's going to be some root chakra strength and some uh, solar plexus strength too needed. Staying grounded, that sort of thing. And you do have that with your star chakra. All right, let's get a few from the ancestor spirit, please. First one out, you have connect with past loved ones, sense, feel, and reconnect. So that may be giving you some guidance, too, with regards to uh, awakening and universal light here. Uh, you may be guided by ancestors at this time. They may be the ones giving you those uh, tidbits of information you need at this time. Could also very well be honor the deities around you, prayers, offerings, and help. This could also be your ascended masters, right? Clear your mind, be present, focus, and embrace. Definitely the weasel energy right here, okay? Mindfulness meditation practices may be helpful too at this time. All right. Let's see what the mermaids have to say. All right. Make sure I get my decks together here. Hold on, guys. <laughs> All right. Let's see what the mermaids have to say. Age. Age what, spirit? Get a few, please. I'm going to do a full round of pull, actually. All right. Okay. 
age could just be a signification of either difference in age, difference of opinion, could actually be something that's longevity, something that ages well, maybe doing something for a longer period of time than usual, maybe something new that you had discovered spiritually as a practice. New age. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so first card out, you have ask for help, okay? Um, this could be you giving, offering help. This could also just be your peers, right? Like your teachers or sharers or other light workers that you follow at this time, right? So whatever you're struggling with, maybe find some help for it, especially outside the box, right? Pay attention to your dreams. You may be connecting with past loved ones through that state, all right? Dreams, intuition, uh, free spirit, just do things that make you feel good, right? Differently, different age. Okay, different things. Different things in new age, maybe. Okay. Magic, all about manifestation and also it being blessings and gifts, recognizing those and being grateful for that. Miracles coming through, same deal. I love that to confirm that. And then the future. This is all about seeing through things transparently and just kind of see what's beneficial for you. Okay. Also the sense of that dreaming and asking for help. Okay. So divinatory practice may be helpful at this time. Some method of scrying, whatever, whatever you prefer. Given that she's looking into a crystal ball bubble, <laughs> maybe working with crystals at this time or that kind of divination, right? Or following those that offer that at this time. Okay. Let's get let's get a few from the shape shifters. Just see what's in the dark as well. What else you could redirect to here? I haven't used this one yet, so let's see how it goes. I'm not going to bring out the book for it. I'm just going to do face value spirit. Whatever we can pull from it. All right. Ooh, renewal vibes too. We'll get one more. All right. Hold on a second. Technically, that one came up first. You have, <laughs> I'm trying to find a spot for it. All right. You have the golden phoenix, number 12. Something you thought, thought finished bursts back into life. Okay, so maybe there's something old that's coming back around for you. As far as some creative, fiery, um, desired thing. I'm thinking of all that fire energy, right? Um, coming back to life. Maybe there's something you can... Uh, resurrect okay i wonder why i was feeling the renewal vibes with quetzalcoatl here okay the time to, the time is now the time to act is now okay 23 breaks down to a five again come on the 23s all right the delicate fairy and her ferrets change is natural good and yes it can hurt so maybe something that had uh emotionally physically Mentally, he's spiritually hurt before. 80 might be significant. Did we miss any? No. Okay. 80 might be significant. Hmm. 1980, someone from an 80-year-old. 80 days ago, 80 weeks ago, 80 months ago. What? 80 years ago? Maybe there's some age to that. Standard. Something usual and standard. Okay. Jessica might be significant to someone here. All right. Next card up, you have the butterfly ferrets. Look at all these ferrets. I love it. So ferrets might be significant as well. Um, I am reborn. Renewal energy. I love it. Number five. And the little owlin. Wisdom as light as a feather. So you might actually be gaining some wisdom through this. Maybe something that went MIA with that ghost. Could also very well be ancestral. Um, an 80 year old ancestor burning. Again, with that fiery energy. Okay. Why did I just think of witches burning at the stake? Sophie might be significant. Huh. That could have been an ancestor. That's what I'm thinking. All right. The 
let's get a few Ascended Masters. Actually, let's get five, since we're kind of aiming for five. Let's see what other messages we can get in Vice Voice. And also who you could probably connect to at this time, or who might be connecting with you. The deities around you. Grass. Grounding. Or are we talking about weed? <laughs> Or your ass is grass. Okay, I'm just let's think grass. Now I'm actually thinking of literal grass. Maybe walking around barefoot. You do need that grounding. Earthing, right? First one up, you have Lord Ganesh, infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. You have Kalima, facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Trying to find good spots for everybody. Sanat Kumara, light activation. I definitely see that with the universal light card. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Master Jesus, forgiveness. You're on the right path of love, love, light, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. Father figures may be significant since father was mentioned. Okay. And mothers, too, so maybe parental, okay? Mother Mary, love and peace. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. Love that. And you have holy amethyst, divine alchemy. Move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. Almost got everybody on screen. <laughs> All right, let me just scooch over. We still have more. All right, let's pull some uh, guidance from Isis, please. We'll go with five again. Since fives are so prevalent, we'll do fives. Five, five, five. So changes. Love it. Transition for good. Could also be an indication of drama on the flip side. All right? So just be mindful. There might be some verbal conflict. Terrorist. <laughs> And that would indicate exactly what you can kind of remove from this situation. The adjustments being required, right? I think it'll make itself known, right, for you. All right, let's get five. Hi, right, Sister Starlin, what do you say? What do you have to say? Peace and thank you. Three, four, and five. Perfect. Thank you, darling. All right, first one out, you have Portal of Light. It is only this physical reality that is bound by time and space. You're a conscious being on levels beyond the physical world. You're guided to work with your healing powers beyond the confines of time and space. And perhaps that's the reconnection here with the soul healing, right? Uh, just discovering what that may be for you at this time. You'll not become ungrounded through such spiritual work. You are not leaving your earthly connection behind. You are merely adding to it, okay? Then you have Divine Guardian. This is a time of significant spiritual growth and healing for you. You are protected during these times by the love and strength of Divine Mother Isis. <clears throat> Relax and allow your transformation to happen. You do have a lot of Pluto going on, right? <coughs> Your divine guardian protects you now. Let go, trust unconditionally, and is what, what is happening for you, as there is only divine love beneath the surface of the present situation. Let me get some tea. All right, next up. <clears throat> Do that image. Pyramid of light, psychic protection. As a being of light, darker energies may at times seek to interfere with your spiritual progress. And that could be what the anxiety and, and fear is all about, right? The mental imprisonment. Um, it's not so much mental, it's just that you're sensing energies around you that might be a little agitating, right? So you will need to up your psychic protection, okay? There's nothing to fear and only more awareness of the power and protection of divine love to experience. The pyramid of light confirms that energies have been causing interference with your path. And it is now time for that interfere, interference to cease completely through loving divine power. So you may want to connect with 
the higher up and you go, hey, please protect me, right? You do have Ganesh here, so obstacles are being removed. Just ask for it, all right? Got to be open to receive, right? Wings of Isis. You have a special spiritual relationship with the angelic worlds, so it could be about angels for you as far as those ascended masters are concerned, all right? Part of your soul purpose is to birth angelic consciousness and values such as fearlessness, compassion, and service into this human culture. This oracle also brings you angelic assistance, intervention, and confirmation. So again, with that psychic protection, right? Ooh, Sekhmet's on board. Love it. Some lion energy. So there's your Leo, too. <laughs> Temple of Carnelian, it is time to trust in your own boldness and courage. Taking rests that feel true to your heart and engaging in practices that make you feel truly and genuinely alive, embodied, and more of yourself, even if not always comfortable, are going to help you live the life that you were born to live. And maybe it might be good to get a little bit of protocol going on at this time, a little bit of structure in your day-to-day. -day. All right. Just kind of keep it organized just so you don't forget to do it or you lose out on an opportunity to do it. So I'm going to get our final guidance from Seasons of the Witch Oracle. Beltane Oracle by Lauren Anderson and Julia Diaz. Still working through this, the rest of this month with this deck. Final guidance spirit at this time. Please and thank you. Also work with any colors that you see. I just saw, I'm like, wow, that's really colorful here. So maybe whatever colors pop out the most to you of what you see in front of, on, on the table right now, uh, maybe look up their meanings. I did do a whole video on that, by the way. Um, and incorporate some of those intentions, okay? Work with those colors. Wear more of them on your body. If you do candle magic, maybe burn a candle in that color. One piece skirt. All right, it's gonna take three rounds. I have a feeling. Maybe the message just got sent. <laughs> right there we go. All right, I oh, love it. Number fifteen breaks down to a six. Green man. All that I desire comes to me easily and effortlessly. I know this to be true, for I am abundant in all that I do. Republic might be an identifier for somebody. Let's see here. I haven't read this one yet. I'm excited. All right. Everything the green man touches turns to gold, or rather green, that is. <laughs> He is the ultimate expression of abundance, and more specifically, an abundant mindset. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, right? Okay. When the green man invites you to his earthly lair, it is to infuse you with the spirit of wealth. Money will flow to you with ease. Opportunities will suddenly come knocking, or you will find the fulfillment of a goal is just within reach. This is also a sign that you are on the right path and what you're doing now is working, so keep at it. This card shows you that you are living life and enjoying all the fruits of your labor. You feel more confident and sure of yourself and other people have taken notice of this and seek your advice. Ooh, I'm already seeing some of our cards pop up here with the ask for help too. So maybe a good way to give back and be grateful for all the little steps forward that you've received already you can give back to others in small ways too, right? Definitely getting a sense of that. And seek your advice knowing you have much to share. The green man is also a giver and provider of wealth. Be generous with your abundance, both financially and spiritually. Share your knowledge and invite others to partake in your good fortune. And that would be a good way to also have a good time. Oh, I just thought of karaoke. Looking at Oya. Take your friends out for karaoke, something very simple on the on on you, right? Just something as simple as that, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, there you go. Hopefully that helps. Have a good one. Bye.